in the view of this jam 2025 one of the topics that jam normally repeats every single year is waves in this video i'm going to guide you through most likely question you're going to expect or see in the forthcoming jam 2025 with no further ado let's get right into the video the distance between two successive crests of a water wave is 0.25 meters if a particle on the surface of the water makes four complete vertical oscillations in one second calculate the speed of the wave option a four meters per second option b three meters per second option c two meters per second option d one meters per second in this question we must remember that successive crest or successive trough of a wave is said to be the wavelength of the wave okay so from what we have done so far we say that lambda is equals what 0 0.25 meters right now this particle makes four complete vertical oscillations in one second and the question is what is frequency frequency is the number of complete oscillations that a particle makes in one second okay then that number of complete oscillation is what four that means this is four in one second that is four over one right that makes our frequency to be what four haze so our frequency is four haze and what are we looking for the speed of the wave that is all right so there's a relationship connecting the frequency the wavelength and the speed of the wave and that relationship is v equals to f lambda right so let's go what's my frequency four haze that is four multiplied by zero point two five okay now by the time you multiply going to give us one meters per second okay and from what we have gotten so far the correct option to this question is option d a wave of frequency 10 haze forms a stationary wave pattern in a medium where the velocity is 20 centimeter per second the distance between adjacent node is what option a 1.0 centimeters option b 1.5 centimeters option c 2.0 centimeters option d 5.0 centimeters before we can think of solving this particular question, let's take our parameters, which is the ideal thing for you to do in physics, is to help you to know the formulas you are looking for and bring them together and then think of the answer. All right. So the frequency f is giving us 10 haze, right? And the velocity v, we have 20 centimeter per second. And the question is, what is the distance between adjacent nodes? We must note this point adjacent node that's when two nodes are meeting together they're looking for the distance between two nodes okay all right so let's go for the wavelength my wavelength is what i don't have and the wavelength is going to give me the iq for me to get the distance between two adjacent nodes so i have v is equal to f lambda from the relationship between the frequency the wavelength and the speed so my speed is 20 is equal to f is 10 multiplied by lambda and now your question is why did i convert to meters is this supposed to be in centimeter per second or well, because i have seen my options and my option has centimeter so eventually my answer is going to be in centimeter there is no need of converting it because my answer is still going to be in centimeter but if the answer is in meter i have to convert before i start solving i hope that is clear all right so when i divide by the coefficient of lambda it's going to give me what Okay, this is going to be lambda, it's going to be what? 2 meters. Now we go, lambda is equal to 2 centimeters, right? Now the distance between two adjacent nodes, we have node and another node. The distance between two adjacent nodes is lambda over what? 2. And that is the distance that we are asked to find. That is lambda over 2. Now our lambda is gotten to be 2 centimeters. This is 2 centimeters over two right by the time you divide the answer is going to give you what i'm going to have one centimeters is that clear so this is how to do it but in case i have to find the distance between a node and anti node for node and anti node the distance between them is lambda over what four right but if it is between themselves like adjacent node adjacent anti node the distance between them is lambda over two 
which is what we use to solve this particular problem. I hope that is clear. Now, from what you have gotten so far, the correct option to this question is option A. The equation of wave is y equals 0 0.005 sine pi bracket 0.5x minus 200t close bracket where x and y are in meters t is in seconds what is the velocity of the wave option a 4000 meters per second option b 400 meters per second option c 250 meters per second and option d 40 meters per second as soon as you see this type of question what will come to your mind is progressive wave equation and this equation is actually given by y is equals to a sine bracket 2 pi minus 2 pi x over lambda. Is that clear? Now we are going to equate it into what we are given in this question. We are given that y is equals to 0 0.005 sine bracket I have pi bracket 0 0.5 x minus 200 t exactly and the first thing that will come to your mind for us to open the bracket that is the first thing y is equal to 0 0.005 sine bracket let's open the bracket by saying Pi multiplied by 0 0.5 x is going to give me 0 0.5 pi x minus multiplied by this, that is 200 pi t. Okay, now we have opened the bracket. For us to get the velocity of the wave, we are going to get the frequency. I'm also going to get the wavelength. Okay, now let's go into that. Now we have going to equate this and equate this. This is a phase difference that can be plus or minus. Now we're going to equate this and this to get the frequency of the wave. That means we say 2 pi ft is equals to we have 200 pi t. Now what will cancel? Pi t cancels pi t, right? Now I have 2 f is equals to what? 200, right? Now f is equals to 200 divided by 2, which is going to give me 100 hertz. Is that clear? Now, let's go into the next one, which is wavelength. And for us to get the wavelength, we are going to equate this and this, right? To get the unknown. Now, we say 2 pi x over lambda is equal to what? 0 0.5 pi x, right? Now, something is common. Pi x cancels what? Pi x. So, 2 over lambda is equal to what? 0 0.5, right? Now, if we say cross multiply, lambda is equal to 2 over 0 0.5, what? Five, right? The sum we divide is going to give us 4 meters. Is that clear? Now, for us to get the speed of the wave, V is equal to F what? Lambda. Okay? So, what's my F? My F is 100. Multiply by what? Four is going to give me 400 meters per second. Hope that is clear. Now, if you have this type of question, I'm going to bring it out, open the bracket, and equate this with the main progressive wave equation. Then find your frequency, find your wavelength, and multiply the two together to get the velocity of the wave. And the answer becomes 400 meters per second. Hope that is clear. So the correct option to this question is option B. A progressive wave is represented by y equals 10 sine bracket 1000 t minus pi x over 34. Two layers of the wave are separated by 153 centimeters. Have a phase difference of what? Option A, 270 degrees. Option B, 45 degrees. Option C, 90 degrees. Or 810 degrees. Looking at this question, what we are asked to find is for us to get the phase difference, okay? And the phase difference, phi, is equals to 2 pi x over lambda, right? And from this question, we are given a distance, a phase distance to be 153 centimeters, right? So we are, what we need now is for us to get our wavelength. 
We are going to get our wavelength from this equation given. And the equation of this progressive wave, y is equals to 10 sine bracket 1000 t minus pi x over 34. Now let's equate this equation with our progressive wave equation, which is y is equals to a sine bracket 2 pi f t minus 2 pi x over lambda. Our concern here is for us to get the wavelength. So let's equate this two together wavelength. Now we go by saying 2 pi x over lambda is equals to pi x over 34. Right? Now something is common. Pi x cancels what? Pi x. So 2 over lambda equals to 1 over 34. Then if you do cross multiply, lambda is equals to 2 times 34. And lambda is going to give me 68 centimeters. Now we have gotten our lambda, we have our x. Let's just substitute into what we have by saying that the phase difference phi is 2 pi x over lambda. Now which will give me 2 pi times my x is 153 divided by my lambda is 68 okay now let's work it out we're going to remove pi and put pi as 180 because this is in degree as in degree pi becomes 180 but in a straight line pi becomes 22 over 7. so this is 2 times 180 times 153 and divided by what 68. if you multiply the numerator you're going to get 550 Eight zero. I thought you divided by what? 68. So the angle is giving us 210 degrees. Now the phase difference is giving us 10 degrees. I hope that is clear. Now see what I did by getting our wavelength, then putting it inside this formula obtained to get our phase difference. Remember that pi is taking us 180 degrees because they're looking for the angle, right? Now for the correct option for what we have done so far is option d the diagram below represents a transverse electromagnetic wave traveling with speed 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second what is the frequency of the wave now we are given this diagram and we have the distance from here to here to be 0.3 meters we are going to use the diagram to solve the problem all right so option a is 3.0 times 10 to the power 7 haze option b is 90 times 10 to the power 7 haze Option C is 1.0 times 10 to the 9 haze. Option D is 3.0 times 10 to the 9 haze. Now for us to solve this problem, you must understand what I explained previously, that this is a point on a stationary wave called what? Node. This is another node. This is another node. 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 Node, right? This is anti-node, okay? So node is a point on a stationary wave where there is no movement of the medium. Whereas antinode is a point on a stationary wave where there is maximum movement of the medium. Alright, so the distance between node and adjacent node is lambda over 2. So the distance from here to here is what? Lambda over 2. We have lambda over 2. 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 Is that clear? The social distance given by this is what? 0 0.3 meters. So what do we do? We solve this way by saying that the distance L is what? How many lambda over 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6 lambda over 2, right? Now the distance is given as 0 0.3. So let's go by saying that 0 0.3 is equal to, let's open the bracket, we're going to have 6 lambda over what? 2, okay? But looking at this, we divide to get what? 3. That is 3 what? 3 lambda. So 0 0.3 is equal to 3 lambda. We're looking for wavelength. All right, so we divide to get lambda to be 0 0.1 watt meters. Okay, now we are giving the speed of light V to be 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. And the relationship connecting the speed, the wavelength, and the frequency is what? We have V is equal to F what? F lambda, right? So we have what we have. Since we're looking for frequency, 
We divide both sides by what? By lambda. This cancel. Therefore, the frequency is V over what? Lambda. That is 3 times 10 raised to the power of what? 8 divided by 0 0.1. So my frequency is equals to 0 0.1 crossing over to join the numerator is going to turn to positive. So this is 3 times 10 raised to the power of what? 9 8. I hope that is clear. So don't forget that the distance between two adjacent nodes is lambda over 2. Okay? Also with adjacent anti node. So it is lambda over 2. But we have the distance between node and anti node becomes lambda over 4. So this is how I can be able to solve this problem. And the correct option to this question is option. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. May God bless you. I hope this video was able to help someone. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification button to get notified each time I post videos. And lastly, do not forget to share so that other students are preparing for this forthcoming exam can see it and learn from there. I will see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.